Caroline Oberg, a staff study manager at Root Genomics, an element biosciences company. Hi everyone, and welcome to our overview of LoopSeq long read sequencing. Long read technology is important in today's research environment because of the constraints that are associated with short read sequencing. When evaluating a fragment using short read technology, investigators can only obtain the full length sequence information if the region of interest is at or shorter than the maximum combined read length of a platform. If you have a 300 base pair sequence that you're interested in, and your platform can read 150 base pairs from each end of the read, you can obtain the full length information with no overlap. If, however, your region of interest is 1500 base pairs long, you would not be able to obtain the full length sequence with or without overlap. In the example on the screen, Molecule 1 has two variations in its sequence, which are covered by independent short reads. Using standard short read technology, it's impossible to correlate that those particular unique variations originate from Molecule 1, as opposed to Molecules 2, 3, or 4. And the same can be said if a matching variation occurred on two separate molecules. These issues are resolved by using long read technology, of which there are two types, native and synthetic. LoopSeq is a synthetic long read technology which utilizes unique molecular identifiers, also known as UMIs, on short read sequences and bioinformatic pipelines to reconstruct full length single DNA or RNA sequences, which can be up to 6 KB in length. The LoopSeq technology is comprised of chemistry and software. The chemistry is the LoopSeq sample prep which uses either long DNA or RNA molecules as its input material. The output of the PrEP is a short read library, which can be sequenced on either an Element Biosciences or an Illumina sequencer. The short reads are then uploaded to our cloud-based computing environment. There, the short reads are pieced together to reconstruct single long read molecules and form a highly accurate consensus sequence provided in a FASTQ format. There are five steps to the LoopSeq chemistry. The first step is called attach, where a UMI is added to each long DNA molecule. The second step is amplify, wherein long-range PCR is used to make multiple copies of each UMI barcoded molecule. During the third step, distribute, a series of enzymes are used to catalyze an intramolecular reaction, whereby the UMI is copied and randomly pasted throughout the same clonal population of molecules. A short read library is then prepared from the distributed UMI molecules. In the fourth step, sequence, you can see that every short read will start by sequencing the UMI followed by the portion of the long read molecule that was adjacent to where the UMI was inserted. During the final step, assemble, the UMI bin short reads are used as input to a de novo assembler to recreate the long molecule. This is similar to the methodology used for genome assembly. The final outputs are highly accurate FASTQ files of all the single long reads associated with the sample. Here are a few examples of how customers are deploying the LoopSeq technology. In this microbiome example, the customer did a comparison of how LoopSeq synthetic long read technology and Oxford Nanopore and PacBio native long read technologies evaluated 1,500, 2,500, and 5,000 base pair single long reads. The plot on the right shows the fraction of long read molecules that had zero detected errors as a function of the length of the molecule. LoopSeq technology, which is the red line at the top, has the highest fraction of error-free molecules at any particular length. Most notably, at 5 KB, it has an error-free fraction that is roughly five-fold better than the next long read technology. The highly accurate long reads is a twofold result of using short read technology, which is inherently more accurate than native long read sequencing, and because of oversampling. For every UMI molecule at every position, we have redundant short reads, which provides a consensus base and filters out any random errors that could have been detected in a single given read. In this 2021 publication, a different customer compared short and long read sequences of different microbiome samples. In this example, they evaluated the V3, V4, 600 base pair amplicon with 
short read technology and full length 1500 V1 through V9 region of the 16S gene for the same samples using long read technology. They observed that more variation and resolution at the species level is obtainable when looking at the full length sequence molecule rather than the partial molecule. In this publication from 2021, a customer sought to evaluate the different errors that can occur in transcriptome sequencing data using multiple technologies such as Illumina short reads, PacBio and Oxford Nanopore native long reads, and LoopSeq synthetic long reads. Across all these error types, LoopSeq performs better than any of the competitive technologies on the market. The single long read mRNA sequencing also allows investigators to look at isoforms such as splicing variants, which is not possible with short read technology. Using primary tumor and metastatic colon cancer samples, the customer was able to find isoform specific mutations and SNPs that drive the progression process from primary tumor to metastatic tumor. Because the single nucleotide variations that drive progression are so similar to wild type gene expression, one would not be able to discern them without the highly accurate long read sequencing method. The final application of the LoopSeq technology is LoopSeq Solo, which is an adaptation of our long read sequencing technology for formal sequencing. It is an NGS replacement for Sanger sequencing, where for each presumptive clonal sample, we get a single long read FASTQ sequence. These reads can be several thousands of base pairs long because we're utilizing short read technology as opposed to needing to design several amplicons to span the same molecule for Sanger sequencing, thus allowing us to reduce the amount of bench work required to obtain the same information. One of the key advantages of the solo kit is that thousands of samples or clones can be multiplexed into a single tube workflow by performing a single PCR-based tagging reaction using LoopSeq specific index plates. Once completed, these samples can then be pooled and processed using the sample preparation method described earlier. For example, if you have 3,000 clones, you can pool tagged samples into a single tube for LoopSeq processing and obtain 3,000 high quality long read consensus sequences. This reduces the time and cost for clonal sequencing information by at least an order of magnitude, depending on how many samples are pulled into that single tube. Here we have a partial list of publications released in 2021 that utilize the LoopSeq technology. A more complete list of how customers are using our technology is available through the Learn section of our website. On that page, you will find details of publications from such diverse areas as transcriptome, microbiome, synthetic biology, and protein engineering, as well as many other areas.